2019 was a record year for the number of guns found at airports. Here in Pittsburgh, the numbers stayed just about the same compared to 2018. Shelby Cassessi has more from Pittsburgh International Airport. TSA confiscated nearly 4,500 guns from carry-on bags nationwide last year, the most in their 18-year history. Now, obviously, a gun at an airport is a safety issue, but travelers here at Pittsburgh International say it can also throw a wrench in their travel plans. This was one of 35 guns confiscated from security checkpoints at Pittsburgh International last year. Over the past three years, that number has remained pretty consistent, from 32 in 2017 to 34 in 2018. Scary. Now that's still alarming that people think they can get away with that. But those numbers don't reflect the nationwide trend. TSA saw a 5% spike in gun confiscations in 2019. 87% of those guns were loaded. You don't expect to see that many loaded weapons going through airports. Maybe people just don't know and they think, oh, I'll pack my gun and head off. <laughs> The person caught trying to take a gun through security may face charges or fines, but it impacts more than just that person. It would probably back us up and delay us to getting where we're supposed to be going. It, it is frustrating because I would assume that people traveling with guns would have all the permissions and all the paperwork and have everything organized. Though some travelers say the increasing numbers are alarming, they also say it's a sign of TSA agents doing their jobs. It's good to see that they're being diligent. Now, you can fly with a gun if it's unloaded and in your checked bag. In the past, TSA has said that when someone is caught at a security checkpoint with a gun, they typically say they just forgot to leave it at home. Reporting from Pittsburgh International, Shelby Cassassi, KDK News.